Hey guys, it's Dynamic Zero with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to cut your boot time in half. So the first thing I want to show you is a program called CCleaner. I highly recommend downloading it, even if you're not trying to increase your boot time, it just keeps your computer clean. Um, I'm going to have a link in the description. And what this does is it, it CCleaner stands for a crap cleaner. Uh, it cleans up all the junk in your computer. So your first window, what you're going to see here is the Cleaner tab, and it has Windows and Applications. And you're just going to press uh, Run Cleaner and it'll go through and delete a whole bunch of junk files. That might take a minute. Uh, if you have an older computer, it could take a very long time. Now, I just ran this, so it'll be very quick. And we will go ahead and close Firefox so that I can clean Firefox cache. Press OK. And I removed one megabyte. I just ran this a second ago, so that means we're good. Uh, next, what you're going to do is go to the registry edit. Now, this one's really good for improving your boot time, because as soon as you boot your computer, uh, your Windows pretty much scrubs through the registry uh, checking out all types of things. So, scan for issues, let it go through, uh, you're probably going to have a whole bunch. Every time you uninstall something, a lot of times it leaves junk on your computer, like uh, registry issues. I just ran this, so I don't have any registry issues. Next, go to uh, the Tools tab, press Startup, and here are all the programs that start as soon as your computer is booted. So, find anything that you know is not necessary. Um, like, technically, I don't really need AIM to boot. I obviously want it on, so I'm going to leave it. Um, anything you don't want to start, like, uh, we'll do Adobe Acrobat Sync. Uh, I could disable it if I want to enable it at some other time, or just delete it. And I know I never want it to start, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now, that's one less program that has to uh, hog RAM when my computer starts. Log me in by Hamachi. I never even use that. I'll remove that. iTunes Helper, don't need it. And you can just go through here, deleting stuff. Uh, disable it if you're not 100% sure what it is. Uh, in case you need to go back and fix it, but uh, that will really save you some boot time. So let's move on to the next thing. Okay, this next method is probably the most effective. Uh, press the start menu and search for msconfig and press enter. And you will get uh, this boot screen. All right, so press the, the boot tab and make sure you have checked off no GUI boot. And what that does is removes the uh, Windows logo from uh, your booting. So once you tick that off, you won't get that annoying Windows 7 logo and it really cuts down the time it takes to turn on your computer. After that, press Advanced Options. And over here, check off the box that says Number of Processors. I have a quad-core processor, so when I turn on my computer, I make sure it uses all four cores to boot up. If you have a dual core, which most of you probably do, uh, set it to two, and so on and so forth. The more processors, the faster it boots, and there's really no downside to that that I know of, so it's really perfectly safe to do. Uh, just press OK apply, OK, and you can press exit without restart because next time you can uh, start your computer, uh, it will go. All right, and the last thing I'm going to do is remove my password from the computer so I don't have to enter it in when the computer starts up. If you're on a laptop, I probably wouldn't do this for security reasons, uh, but to be completely honest, uh, it doesn't take much to crack a computer open anyway, so if the person knows what they're doing, they're going to get in whether or not. But if you're on a laptop, for good measure, keep your password. If you're on a desktop like me, there really is no reason to have it. Uh, and you probably already know how to do this anyway. We're just going to go start, control panel, user accounts and family safety, uh, user accounts. And I'm going to remove my password. And we're just going to type in the password and hit remove. All right, now when I log back into my computer, I don't have to type in my password and it goes straight to my desktop. So now I don't have the boot GUI. It doesn't have any registry. Um, it doesn't have the extra registry. Uh, content to go through. It doesn't have to load up those programs, and I don't have to sign in. This is going to speed up your computer by a lot. If you want to go another route, uh, if you want to kind of rebuild your computer, if you get a faster hard drive, you will boot up faster. Most of you, actually almost all of you, are on a 5400 RPM hard drive. They sell 7200 RPM hard drives and solid state hard drives. If you were to uh, take one of those, put it in your computer, and load your operating system onto that, your boot system would be much faster. But uh, as for software-wise, you guys pretty much know the, the deal from what I showed you there. So uh, that's all, and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, make sure to uh, like this, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, uh, all that great stuff. I'll see you next time. If you aren't a fan of me on Facebook or Twitter, uh, I'm going to let you know right now that there are now Ambic Zero t-shirts, as well as uh, some Geek Humor t-shirts. If you want one, just head over to AmbicZero.com, click the shirts icon, and it will link you to a Spreadshirt page with uh, different t-shirts. I'm adding more all the time.